Good morning, Ospreys. Thank you for tuning into today's wake up call. I'm Khalila Ritchie, bringing you news from around the world, in our country, and in our city. Pandas are rejoining the National Zoo family. 11 months ago, the zoo sent its three popular pandas back to China, but two more pandas will be replacing them. The China Wildlife Conservation Association says Bao Li and Jing Bao, a pair of three year old giant pandas, will be flown to Washington after leaving a research facility in China. To make the e trip easier for the pandas, cornbread, bamboo, and carrots have been prepared for their long journey to the States. According to AP News, there is no set date for the pandas' arrival, but they will be in an extended quarantine and endure an acclimation period before being introduced to the public. In other national news, Walgreens plans to close about 1,200 locations over the next three years. The company says that about 500 closures will come in the next fiscal year to support adjusted earnings and free cash flow. The drugstore chain, like many of its competitors, has been struggling for many years with issues like rising costs to operate its stores. Walgreens CEO Tim Wentworth says the turnaround will take time but will benefit the company long term. Across the world in southern Africa, the United Nations Food Agency says the region is suffering from the worst hunger crisis in decades. According to the World Food Program, this could become a full-scale human catastrophe. The drought in South Africa was triggered by the El Nino weather phenomenon, which leads to warmer and drier weather. The WFP estimates that over 21 million children in South Africa are malnourished due to crop failure. Food prices have risen and authorities have had to kill wildlife, including elephants, to provide meals for the community. That's all for today's Wake Up Call Ospreys. We'll see you tomorrow.